Billy Jones' wife, Tina Jones, is celebrating a birthday today. So happy birthday to Tina Jones, the wife of the driver of the 25 of Billy Jones. Here we go. Night number one of the fall brawl. Midwest Modified Heat Race number one. It's the kickoff to the fall season here at the Mighty Midway Speedway. Green flag is in the air. Wesley Briggs wasting no time as now he's right there on the inside of the 64 of Pete Richardson. But Richardson already up there battling up front. Here comes the 83 of Ben Newell looking on the outside of Briggs. Down the front stretch they go one lap in. Now I go to the 64 of Pete Richardson. Ben Newell, Wesley Briggs battling back there for a second. Richardson now. Out front in that 64, Ben Noel sitting there in second all by himself. Wesley Briggs in third. Joe Francis in the 32 and fourth. Two laps in. It's all the 64 of Pete Richardson, but Ben Noel is closing the gap on your leader. Here they come out of turn number four. Great racing all the way around the Mighty Midway Speedway. Three different races going on right now. Here comes Ben Noel on the inside of the 64, Pete Richardson. Down the back stretch they go, down the turns number three, and four. And down the front stretch they go, Dratton Grace down the front stretch as it's still Richardson out front. Ben Noel staying right there with him, he'll off the pace there in turn number two. He's losing some ground. Keep Brian back here on that battle for third between Briggs and Francis. As there's battles all the way around this great racing surface here tonight for the fall brawl. Pete Richardson, Bindle out front, still battling there side by side, but running out of time. Out of turn number four, two more laps to go. Two more laps to go. Who's it going to be, Richardson or Newell? Down the back stretch they go. Richardson doing a great job. Keeping a foot on his lane, but look out, here comes the 32 of Joe Francis and third of the 28 of Wesley Briggs. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Down the back stretch they go side by side. Look at that race to kick off night number one of the fall brawl. Who is it gonna be? Noel Richardson out of turn number four. Down the front stretch they go out the line. Well, that was too close to call, but that's why we've got scores up here. And the 83 of Ben Noel is your heat race winner. Ben Noel, the final lap, took a drag race down the front stretch and barely got up in front of that 64, Pete Richardson. That was a great race, a great kickoff to night number one of the fall brawl. He raced number two on the pole. Now we have 39 of Chris Cheevers on the outside. It'll be the 11, the 17T of Ted Ballringer. Row number two on the inside. That'll be a 33 of Anthony Ferreira. On his outside, that'll be a 5C of Brian Cook. Row number three on the inside. That'll be a 50, 33 of Steve Mjolnberg. On the outside, that'll be a 4X of Aiden Scott. It'll be the 92 of Keith Cheevers. And the 15H of Jeremy Hazel. Lines are off. Here we go. Nice and easy pace here for heat race number two. And green flag is in the air. Chris Cheever is out front. Your leader is 17. Tim Ball. Winger in the second spot. 33 of Anthony Ferreira battling with the other 33 is Steve Muhlenberg. Right now it's all the 39 of Chris Cheevers out front. Cheevers, ball ringer. Yeah, the 17T and the 33 of Steve Muhlenberg went over, driving in hard on the inside of the 17T. Muhlenberg now jumps up that second spot. 
Chris Cheevers, though, still has a big lead on that other 33, the blue and yellow 33, as he is making his way around the track here right now, single file all the way around the mighty Midway Speedway for heat race number two for the Midwest Modifieds. Anthony Ferreira down the back stretch right now, sitting there in that fourth spot, trying to hold off that 92 of Keep Cheevers. Here comes the 33 of Muhlenberg. Muhlenberg has closed the gap on the 39 of Chris Cheevers, just like the first heat race. This is going to get exciting right here. Here we go down the front stretch. Then go two more laps to go. Chris Cheevers, can he hold on? Chris Cheevers running that middle groove around the race track. See Muhlenberg fishing there on the bottom. Here comes Anthony Freire on the inside of the 17T. Here they come out of turn number four. White flag is in the air. We're in for another treat here tonight. Muhlenberg on the inside out of 39 of Chris Cheevers. Down the back stretch they go. Muhlenberg has the advantage. Chris Cheevers on the outside. Muhlenberg slides up in front of Cheevers. Cheevers slides down in the inside. Down the front stretch. No way. Photo finish for heat race number two. Keep it going for night number one in a fall brawl. And it will go to the 33 of Steve Muhlenberg. Wow. Two heat races, two photo finishes. This is is setting up for a great night. For night number one of the fall brawl, we get ready for our third and final heat race. On the pole, that'll be a 6T of Austin Treadway. He is outside, that'll be 05 of Cheyenne Bauman. Row number two on the inside, that'll be the 7C of Derek Cook. On the outside, will be a 46 of Ben Chapman. Row number three on the inside, that'll be 11 of Bryce Gutshaw on his outside. Be a 27, John Dame. Then got the 84, Dayton Newell. And Green Fox is in the air. Trent Williams, Shelly and Bauman battling up there. Here comes a 7 C of Derek Cook. Derek Cook jumping up threes and four spots there. As now he's up there for, up front battling there. And, here comes the 11 of Bryce Gutshaw. Bryce Gutshaw, now he jumps in and takes over the lead. In one lap, we got two different leaders. Here comes the 84, though, with Dayton Newell. Here comes Dayton Newell. Here comes Dayton Newell in that 84. Oh. Eighty four of Dayton Noel. Eighty four of Dayton Noel out front. Right now by himself in his own zip code as the race back there for a second between Bryce Gutshaw in the seven C of Derek Cook is a good one. As they're trading places back and forth. As now Derek Cook down the inside of Gutshaw. Here they go in the turns three and four. Gutshaw shoots up the racetrack. Seven C of Derek Cook stays on the inside. As Dayton Newell right now out front by himself. Nobody around him. As Gutshaw and Seven C of Derek Cook are trading places up and down the track. Gutshaw shoots up high. Derek Cook now goes back on the bottom. And right now it is Dayton Newell on a Friday night cruise around the mighty Midway Speedway for heat race number three. Seven C of Derek Cook in third, but Gutshaw off the pace as a 27 uh, John Dame is now in third. Checker flag is in the air though, 4084 of Dayton Newell.
So Jake Newell, your heat race winner, heat race number three. So that was some pure racer right there for three heat races for the Midwest Modifieds. Now we get ready for the pure socks. Heat race number one on the pole. That'll be the five of Justin McDowell. On the outside will be the 88R, the Bradley McDowell. Row number two on the inside. That'll be the 617. Tom Piffle on the outside. That'll be the nine of Brian Piercy. Next row on the inside, row number three, will be the one, the 53 of Richard Burks. On the outside, could have the five of Rocky Teske back with us here tonight. 6 cars, 8 laps is your distance for heat race number 1 for the Pure Stocks. Pure Stocks competing for 250 to win tonight. Green flag is in the air. The battle of the McDowell's out front there. The five of Justin McDowell on the inside of the 88R. Brantley McDowell down the back stretch. They go down the turns number 3 and 4. Brian Piercy in that 9 sitting there in 3rd. Watching a good race in front of him as the 8AR of Bradley McDowell is holding on to the lead. Here comes the 9 of Brian Pierre. Oh, the 617 of Tom Biffle goes sideways there, but corrects it. We're staying green as the 8AR of Bradley McDowell is still out front. Your leader, Justin McDowell, that five sitting there in second, but here comes the track point leader to nine. The Brian Piercy on the inside of the five by Justin McDowell. Side by side, they go into turns three and four. Bradley McDowell out front by himself. Brian Piercy now trying to pull in front of the five by Justin McDowell. Brian Piercy now has the second spot to himself. He has the 88R of Bradley McDowell in his sights now. As he tries to catch that 88R, single file all the way around the Monty Midway Speedway for heat race number one. As Robin or Bradley McDowell, that 88R is your leader at 617. Once again, Todd Biffle, point sideways, coming off of turn number two, still keeping it green. As Bradley McDowell is out front, your leader. Two more laps to go. Does Brian Piercy have enough time as the white flag is in the air? One more lap to go. This is it. Bradley McDowell, can he hold on? Brian Piercy in that nine right now, giving it all that he can right here. Down the back stretch, two more turns. Bradley McDowell trying to hold on to it. Here comes the nine of Piercy on the inside. Bradley McDowell got the win. Brian Piercy coming home second. And Justin McDowell coming home third with the uh, piece of debris flopping there on the final Justin McDowell. Your heat race winner is the AR of Bradley McDowell. Heat race winner, heat race number one. Here we go, heat race number two. On the pole, that'll be a 12 of Craig Dykstra. On the outside, that'll be the 7K of Tyler Knutson. Row number two on the inside, that'll be the 32 of Richard Adams on his outside. We have a 26 of Preston McDowell. Next row on the inside will be the 4W of Gabe Woodbridge. And on the outside, that'll be the 24 of Johnny Light. Six cars, eight laps is your distance for heat race number two. Pure stocks, fall brawl night number one. 250 to win for tonight's feature. Green flag is in the air. Craig Dyster right now, your leader. Seven of Tyre Knutson in second. The 32 
of Richard Adams sitting there in third. Great race in there, coming out turn number four. We got Debris in turn number four. And caution coming out. As we have Debris on the track there in the middle of turn number four. So the seven of Tyler Knutson has a choice between the bottom and the top. He will choose that inside lane. 32, Richard Adams will go on the outside. Everybody else will line up there. 26, a Preston McDowell on the inside of the four. The Gabe, Gabe Woodridge. In the 24, of Johnny Leip. All right, here we go. Greg Dykstra, Wiedemann turn number three, Knutson and Adams, row number two, green flag is in the air. Ooh, Adams right now has that momentum going into turns one and two. But off the pace there's Tyler Knutson now in that seven, jumps up in front of the 32 of Adams. Dykstra, seven of Knutson in second. The 32, Richard Adams, right now on the inside of now. Knutson, he slides it in. Hard contact made there. As Tyler Knutson in that seven car, trying to hold on to that second spot as Richard Adams in that pink 32. is right there racing the 7K of Tyler Knutson. Pretty hard there for the spot. But here comes the 25, or 26 of Preston McDowell. And your top four right there in a the group by themselves as Craig Dykstra doing a great job out front. Here comes Knutson. Knutson looking to work that outside lane in that seven car. Has won a feature in the 1K. And now he's in the seven. And look at that, three cars up front battling there for the lead down the back stretch they go, or the front stretch they go. Side by side, we've got three cars up front. Here comes Adams now on the inside of the 12 of Craig Dykstra. Adams down low, Dykstra up high. Adams expanding the racetrack here in turns three and four. Down the front stretch, then go. Two more laps to go. Photo finish on that lap. Here comes the seven of Tower Knutson on the inside of the 12 of Dykstra. Adams up the racetrack here, opens the door for Dykstra, and contact made there. White flag is in the air, one more lap to go. Good hard racing for night number one of the fall brawl. Richard Adams out front by himself. Here comes the 26 of Preston McDowell, the inside of the seven of Tyre Knutson. Adams comes out of four, checker flag is in the air. Craig Dykstra coming on second. Preston McDowell coming on third, Tyler Knutson fourth. Well, they call it a fall brawl tonight. That second word brawl is a statement here tonight. These drivers are racing hard tonight. As our third and final heat race for the pure stocks are making their way out on the track right now. On the pole, that'll be the four of Caleb Bros on his outside. That'll be the 42A of Alex Thomas. Run number two on the inside, that'll be a 17 of Austin Wilson on his outside. Will be the seven of Carl Lampy. So those 17 of Austin Wilson not making the call. As uh, they got the 47A of Jim Alex Status out there on the inside of seven of Carl Lampy. So four cars, eight laps is your distance. Green flag is in the air. Caleb Rhodes out front. 42A of Alex Thomas in there in second. The seven of Carl Ampey. 
Sitting right now in that third spot. Here they come around for lap number one. They'll go to the four of Caleb Rhodes. 42 of Alex Thomas. Off the pace there as the seven of Carl Lampy now close the gap. Lovely tap there on the 42 of Thomas. As they're making their way down the front stretch right now. Single file around the Monty Midway Speedway for the Pure Stock Heat Race number three. Four of Caleb Rhodes out front, your leader. Forty-two of Alex Thomas trying to hold on. Here comes the seven of Carl Lampy. She drives it hard on the inside. Now on the back stretch, they go. Momentum getting right there, side by side. It turns three and four out of four for that battle for a second. Right now, your leader. In the fourth place car right now all by themselves. Caleb Rhodes out front in the 47A of Jim Alexis in the back there, but two cars that'll battle in and out there is for that second spot. Carl Lampy in that seven right now sitting there in second. 42A of Alex Thomas in third. Two more laps to go around the Monty Midway Speedway for the four, Caleb Rhodes. As Rhodes will come out of four, white flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Caleb Rhodes right now on a Friday night cruise. Jericho Flatton is in the air for the four. K.O. Barones. Carl Lampy coming on second. And the 42A of Alex Thomas coming on third. We get ready now for our Power Eye Super Stocks. Three heat races for the Power Eye Super Stocks. Heat race number one on the pole. That'll be the seven of Josh Lewis. And on the outside of him, that'll be the one D of Steve Dickman. Row number two on the inside. That'll be the G1 of Nick Gibson. His outside will be the 53 of Danny O'Neill. Row number three on the inside. That'll be the 35 of John Coates. And on his outside. That'll be a 21W of Ted Walshmeyer. It'll be a 29K of Chris Kircher. Yellow is still out as the 11 of Jimmy Phone is supposed to be in scheduled heat race number two. So he'll be making his way into the pit area. Here we go, lights are off. We'll go green this time for the Power Line Super Stock heat race number one. Good field of super stocks here tonight for night number one of the fall brawl. Here they come out to number four. Green flag is in the air. Josh Lewis out front, your leader as the one D of, D of the one D of Steve Dickman battling there with the G1 and Nick Gibson. Dickman down that one yellow, the red numbers battling there with Gibson, who's on the inside. Right now, Josh Lewis out front by himself, though, your leader. Great battle there in the middle of the pack, though. The ones are battling there for that second spot. Dickman on the outside. Gibson on the inside. Here comes the 21 W at Tim Walshmeyer racing there. Three wide there almost for that battle for fourth. At 35, John Cooks off the pace there in turn number two, losing some spots. Right now, it's the seven of Josh Lewis. Now front by himself. 
And Dickman and Gibson battling there for a second. Here comes the 21 to 10. Walshmeyer right there, making it three wide down the back stretch. Walshmeyer, Gibson, and Dickman battling there. Three wide in turns, three and four. This is what you call a brawl here tonight, folks. Put the big money on the line, and these drivers are going to be competing all night long. Josh Lewis is out front by himself, but he's missing out on the fun behind him. Steve Dickman out front now. Here comes the 21 of 10, Walshmeyer. Dickman had the advantage going to turn through, but Walshmeyer saw the opening on the inside. He's going to look still on that inside. He will now take over a second. Ted Walshmeyer, that 21W in that second spot, but caution is coming out. Has uh, got piece of debris there in turn number three. Get that picked up there. Not what, not what the seven of Josh Woods wanted to see that caution come out. As he had a big lead there on that 21 W Ted Walshmeyer who just got in that second place. As the 21 W will have the choice between the bottom or the top, he will choose the bottom. So the one of Steve Dickman will go on his outside. Green flag is in the air. Josh Lewis out front, your leader, 35, and John Coates. In second, looking there. Here they come out of turn number four, down the front stretch. John Coates, what a run by him. In that 35, got the lead out of four, and got it done there. So it was John Coates. The seven of Josh Lewis in the 21 W. Ted Walshmeyer. Get ready for now for heat race number two on the pole. That'll be a 56 of Mark Davis on his outside. We have one C at Tower Carver. Run number two on the inside. We have a seven X of John Scott on the outside with the 05 of Dale Berry. Row number three will now be a 26 of Donnie Miller. And on the outside will be the 11 of Jimmy Phone. Also out there is a 7X of John Scott. He got the two. What way to rival there? All right, here we go. Tighten them up here. Lines are off at the line, side by side.
Heat race number two for the Power Eye Super Stocks. Green flag is in the air. 56 of Mark Davis out front, your leader. One see a tower carver. Right there on the outside, side by side, out of turn number four. 05 is Elberry off the pace in turn number four. And caution will be coming out. The caution coming out there for the 05 of Delberry. So Del Berry bringing out the caution here. It comes to a stop here on the front stretch. We'll thank once more again our great sponsors here at the Mighty Midway Speedway for the fall brawl. Low Boats I-44 Winter Shootout, Lake Area Liquidators. And State Representative Jeff tonight. Show me their dot TV for the hard charger for the USRAB mods. And tonight, for the feature for Power Eye Super Stocks, top four. We'll transfer into the Mile Nice feature. So one see it, Tyler Carver, choosing that inside the lane, the 26. Donnie Miller going the outside. As the lights are off, get ready to go back racing here. Mark Davis leads him down the back stretch. Lights are off. Here we go to turn three and four. Green flag is back in the air. Mark Davis out from it. Here comes the one C of Carver. Carver on the inside of the 56 of Davis. Out of turn number four. Side by side down the front stretch they go. What a race. Two by two. First, second, third, and fourth. Oh, the 7K of John Scott going off the track. Here we go. Caution coming out. Caution coming out there for the 7X of John Scott. The 56 is your leader. Mark Davis, your leader. Two laps in, lights are going off. Here we go, going into turn number three. Mark Davis will lead him here. And green flag is in the air. Mark Davis out front, tower carving in 1D. 1C making a good run there in second, 26. Donnie Miller sitting there in third. Here comes Miller on the inside of Carver. In the turns, one and two. Oh, Davis sideways. Everybody else stopped to avoid your leader with turns one and two and two.
for the 56. So he went around there. Everybody else was stopped to avoid. So caution still out here at the Mighty Midway Speedway for the Power Line Super Stocks. <laughs> so 26, Don Miller has a choice between the bottom or the top. He would choose that inside lane. Seven X of John Scott on the outside. Three laps in. Tower Carver, you're leering at one C. Here we go. We can go back racer right here. Green flag is in the air. One C of Tower Carver out front. Donnie Miller now 26 in second. 7X of John Scott right there in third. Down the front stretch they go. Oh, too much there for the 11 of Jim Thone. Going sideways in chair number one. And caution coming out. The one C of Tyler Carver, your leader. Donnie Miller now 26, sitting there in second. 7X of John Scott in third. Right there where they need to be. Single file right here. Nose to tail. Lights are off, gonna go racing this time. Rain flag is in the air. Tower Carver off of a great start there now. One C, the 26 of Donnie Miller sitting in second. Seven X of John Scott in third. Jimmy Foam racing hard back here with that 24 S. And they come here out of turn number four. One see it, Tower Carver is still your leader out front. 26 though with Johnny Miller. Trying to close the gap there. Here they come out of turn number four. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Tower Carver trying to hold on. Down the back stretch, down the turns, number three and four. Out of four. Checker flag is in the air for the one seed, Tower Carver. Tower Carver, your heat race winner, heat race number two. Now we get ready for our third and final heat race on the pole. That'll be the one D of Daniel Deason. He is outside. It'll be the 32 of Joe Francis. Row number two on the inside will be the 67 of David Arburn. On his outside will be the 21L of Jerry Lampke. It's out of row number three. That'll be the 45 of Aaron Poe. 
On his outside will be the 27D of Derek Henson. Six cars, eight laps is your distance for heat race number three for the Power Eye Super Stocks. Green flag is in the air. Daniel Deason out front, your leader, 32 of Joe Francis in second. Look out, hero, here comes that 27D to Derek Henson. Henson already up there, now third spot, moving right along. That's a 1D of Daniel Deason takes lap number one. Here comes Derek Henson on the inside of the 32 of Joe Francis. Contact made there. Here comes the 45, Aaron Poe takes advantage as Francis falls back two spots. Daniel Deason is out front though. That 27D, that's Derek Henson right there in second. Trying to close that gap in between him and the leader, the 1D of Daniel Deason. Joe Francis off the track there now, 32. Comes back on, we're staying green. Daniel Deason, that 1D. Single foul around the mighty midway speedway. 1D of Daniel Deason, your leader. 27D of Derek Kitson in second. 45 of Aaron Poe in third. Third and final heat race for the Power Eye Super Stocks. Four hundred to win tonight for the Power Eye Super Stocks. And caution for the twenty-one. Jared Lampke bringing out the caution. Night number one of the fall brawl here at the Mighty Midway Speedway. I want to thank Lake Area Wickedators, only weekly auctions. Jack Jones and his team provide some of the best buys and will have the must-have items. For, for more detailed information, visit the Facebook page, Lake Area Wickedators, for more detailed information and get those top items from the comfort of your home with the online auction. Don't forget about tomorrow night's race in action right here at the Monty Midway Speedway for night number two. 2,000 to win for the USRA B Mons. 750 to win for the Super Stocks. 750 to win for the Stock Cars. 500 to win for the Midwest Mons. And 350 for the Pure Stocks.
Don't forget, Friday, September 17th, no race will be here at the Monty Midway Speedway. We'll be back on September the 24th. Then our track championships will be on October the 1st. And we'll be racing the month of October, except for October the 8th. Also, want to thank the Little Boat Time 44 Indoor Winter Shootout. Joins the Living Midway Speedway Fall Brawl as they will be holding their event January 6th through the 8th at the Cowan Civic Center. As they have kids' classes to adult classes. This event has packed the indoor area and has become an event that everyone marks on their calendar. All right, here we go. Lines are going off. Going to go green this time. Green, white, together, one lap shootout. Daniel Deason out front. Your leader, here comes the 32. Joe Francis on the inside of 45, Aaron Poe. Now, and here we go now out of four. Checker flag is in the air. Another photo finish for night number one in the fall brawl. And your winner is the one D Daniel Deason. And the 27 of Derek Hinton. Coming home. Second. Wow. Photo finish after photo finish. Night number one is a treat for the fans in the stands and watching online. Here we go. It's downtown for the USRA B Mons. He races. A thousand to win tonight. First, they got to get into the show on the pole. That'll be a Tim P. A Tate personally, your current point leader. He is outside. That will be 42 in with Jerry Morgan. Row number two on the inside. That'll be a 28 of Andy Bryant. On his outside, that'll be the F1 of Mitchell Franklin. Row number three on the inside. That'll be the 54. Brian Shute on the outside. It'll be the 55 of Colson Kirk. 22C of Cole Campbell also out there. Then it'll be a 21 of uh, Greg Schaefer, Schaefer and the nine of uh, Tim Clemens. Three heat races. Here we go. Go oh, blow that dust off there in chair number two. All right, I believe they have done it. Here we go, lights are going off. First, William Morgan on the front row. Bryant and Franklin, row number two. Shoot and Campbell, row number three. All right, USREP Bonds get ready here. Green flag is in the air for heat race number one. 
Dave Persley out front, your leader, Jerry Morgan out 42, trying to hold on a second, but here comes the 28 of Andy Bryant. Bryant now in that second spot, but Bryant shooting at 54 on the inside. Here comes Mitchell Franklin, three wide for that battle for third. Now it's between Franklin and Shoot, side by side. Franklin in at F1, Bryant off the pace. Franklin takes advantage, he jumps up to second. Dayton Persley out front, still your leader. Mitchell Franklin in the F1 is sitting there in second. Cole Campbell in that 22C, sitting there in third. As Cole Campbell right now, third in the nation. Jackson is fourth in the nation. Right now, the TMP of Dave Persley is leading. He raced number one. Mitchell Franklin, the F1, sitting there in second. 22 C of Cole Campbell in third. DMP of Percy still holding on to that lead. Franklin staying right there with them. Down the back stretch they go. It's Percy, Franklin, and Campbell, your top three. Oh, Mitchell Franklin closing the gap on the TMP of Percy. One, two, three, they come out of turn number four. White flag is in the air, one more lap to go. Dave Persley at Tim P. Can he hold on? Mitchell Franklin, the F1, sitting there in second. Cole Campbell, the 22 in third. Here they come out of four. Checker flag is in the air for the Tim P. Dave Persley. F1 to Mitchell Franklin, second. And 22 C of Cole Campbell in third. It's a good heat race there for heat race number one. Heat race number two on the pole. That'll be the 71 of Chris Tanoli. His outside will be 28 of Wesley Briggs. Row number two on the inside. That'll be the 57J of Donnie Fellers. His outside will be a 16M of Brian Myers. Row number three on the inside, that'll be a six of Jay Flynn. On his outside will be the X2 of Brian Boyle. Next row on the inside will be the 714 of Todd Mock. On the outside will be the three of Justin Moon. Then will be the 96X of Jeff Hooper. Heat race number two. The line lights are going off. Green flag next time. Here we go. USRP bonds heat race number two. Green flag is in the air. Chris Tenoli out front, your leader, 57, J. Donnie Fellers on the inside, but we got problems down the back stretch. As the 28 of Briggs and the 16 in of Brian Myers is hooked up. Wesley Briggs, not sure what happened there in turn number two, but off the pace there. 16 and M. Now 
nowhere to go. So get the back stretch cleared off there. CNS Towing been here since the beginning, 2004. So, 71 of Chris Tanoli. The inside there, the 57 of Donnie Feller is on the outside. So everybody lining up back up here. Here we go, going to the line, lights are going off. Green flag next time. Flying is in the air. We've got one going sideways. Turn number one. This is, and caution is coming out. All right, couple of them up here. Snowy on the inside here, no lap in. Go back to the original restart here. Has 28 of Briggs and Brian Myers. Trying to get things going here as uh, getting the line up here figured out. There's well, here we go. Go to the line. The line to be going off. All right, here we go. Lights are off. Green flag is in the air. Chris Tanoli out front, your leader. And we got problems on the back stretch.
And the X2, they were 96, made contact, and the 96 came down, and the Briggs was right there on the inside. All right, here we go, lights are going off. Ring flag is in the air. Chris Tanoli out front, your leader 57, and Donnie Fillers in second. Three of Jason Justin Moon right now in that third spot there. Here comes the X2. Brian Bowen running right there in third as well. Here we go. Look at that race up front. 57, uh, Donnie Feller trying to hold on. Here comes the X2 to Brian Bowen. Side by side down the back stretch they go. Here we go in the turns number three and four. Out of four, Brian Bowen. Out front, your leader, 57, the Donnie Feller's in second, and 71 of Chris Tanoli in third. Out of turn number four. Good runs right here. X2 of Brian Bowen out front. 57 of Donnie Feller sitting there in second. Chris Dolan at 71 in third. Here comes the three and the Briggs racing hard back there for that fourth spot. Justin Moon. Now he's up in front of that 28 of Wesley Briggs. Two more laps to go. 40X2 of Brian Bowen. Out of turn number four. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. 57 of Donnie Fellers trying to hold off that city one of Chris Tanoli as your leader is all by himself out front. Checker flag is in the air for the X2. Brian Bowen. Donnie Fellers going on second. Chris Tanoli coming on third.
All right, heat race number three. It's a stacked one. On the pole, that'll be the 18 of J.C. Morton. On his outside, that'll be the 14 of Sean Nations. Row number two on the inside, that'll be the 11 of Wilgren Smith. On his outside, the 65 of Chris Jackson. Row number three on the inside, that'll be the 24 of Jerry Ellis. On his outside, will be the 8S of John Sheets. Next row, row number four on the inside, that'll be a 67 of Austin Seats. On his outside, the 30 of Rex Harris. In the 49 of Cole Wells. Here we go. Lights are going off. The stacked heat race right here. J.C. Morton, Chris Jackson, John Seats. Rex Beer in the 30. Everybody in this heat race right here are going to put it all on the line. Green flag is in the air. J.C. Morton out front, your leader 11 of Logan Smith battling there with the 65 of Jackson. Then you got the 70, 14 of Sean Nations right there. We got trouble though in turns three and four. The A.S. of John Seats. And caution is coming out. John Seats there in the 8S. Going around there in the middle of turns three and four. The 18 of J.C. Morton, your leader, Jackson. The 14 there on the inside there. Everybody else doubled up. One lap completed. Final heat race for the USRE B Lons is fouls in the wind tonight. Down the back stretch they go here. JC Mort William Insurance number three. Out of four, green flag is in the air. J.C. Morton now front, Chris Jackson at 65 in second. 14 of Sean Nations right there in third. Morton, Jackson, and Nations, your top three. Cole Wells in the 49. We got trouble, though, in turns one and two. 30. Rex Harris. And the eight, yeah, so John. All the 30, Rex Harris there. Well, everybody else lining up here is J.C. Morton, still your leader in that 18 and 65 of Chris Jackson. On the inside, row number two. Sean Nations on the outside in the 14. Lights are going off. Green flag. Next time. Green flag is in the air.
J.C. Morton out front, your leader, Cole Wells, probably there with the 14 of Sean Nations. Side by side down the back stretch of the turns, three and four they go. J.C. Morton out front, your leader, Chris Jackson in a 65 in second. Jackson closing in on the 18 of Morton. Here they go now to turns three and four. Morton trying to fill. Oh, we got problems there in turns three and four. Caution coming out. Eight S of John Sheets. Four lamps in. The lineup is good. The 65 Chris Jackson will have the choice between the bottom or the top. Green flag is in the air. J.C. Morton down the back stretch. He goes in the turns number three. Chris Jackson in a 65 there in second. We'll look at the battles there behind them. Austin Seeds in a 67. Jumps up to that third spot in front of the 49 of Cole Wells. Cole Wells back on the inside. Down the back stretch they go. It's all the 18 of J.C. Morton right now, your leader. Two more laps to go. J.C. Morton, Chris Jackson. And Jackson defend his home ground. J.C. Morton trying to do the upset. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Two for two for the 18 of J.C. Morton. Here we come out to turn number four. Checker flag is in the air for the 18 of J.C. Morton, Jackson. Coming on second, Austin. Seats coming on third. <laughs> One more class of heat races. The USRA stock cars, two heat races for them. On the pole for heat race number one, that'll be the 75 of Dylan Keeper. So Dylan Keeper on the pole. On the outside, it'll be the 54 of David Hendricks. Row number two on the inside, it'll be the 28 of Brian White. Here's outside, it'll be the 21 of Peyton McDowell. Heat race number one for the USRA stock cars, competing for 400 to win tonight. Good car count here on hand. Don't forget, we will be back racing tomorrow night right here for night number two of the fall brawl. As the lights are going off, going to go green this time. Green flag is in the air. Dylan Keeper out front, your leader coming out of turn number two. Brian White there on the inside of the 54, David Hendricks. They're side by side, here we come out of turn number four. Who will take lap number one at the line? Dylan Keeper holding on to the lead. David Hendricks at 54, racing hard with the 28 of Brian White. Side by side down the back stretch, they go White on the inside. Hendricks on the outside, Keeper right there. Try to hold them, both of them off. As a 75, a Dylan Keeper 
Yeah, out front, your leader, Brian White on the inside now, the 54 of David Hendricks. He got three cars up front, battling there for the lead. Give it out, turn number four. Dylan Keeper, three wide, but here comes the 28 of Brian White. Brian White out 28, having a good run right there, running up bottom around the mighty Midway Speedway. He's now your new race leader. Dylan Keeper in the 75 and second and 54. David Hendricks in third. Down the back stretch they go now. Hendricks on the inside, Keeper on the outside. Four second behind your leader in the 28, the Brian White. Brian White set the pace out front. Here they come out of turn number four. Two more laps to go. Brian White, can you hold on? Here comes the 54. David Hendricks right there. Down the back stretch they go. Here they come out of four. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Brian White, your leader. David Hendricks in the 54 in second. Down the back stretch here in the turns number three and four for the final time. Brian White, can he hold on? Out of four. Shaker flying is in the air for the 28 of Brian White. David Hendricks coming on second. And Dylan Keeper coming on third. A good run right there for the 28 of Brian White, our second and final heat race. So he race number two on the pole. I'll be a 21P of Darren Phillips on the outside. I'll be a 35 of John Coates. Row number two on the inside. It'll be a 20 of Robbie Jones on the outside. will be an 11 of Derek Brown. Final heat race of the night got B features to take care of after our heat races. Your final over at Jacket Stadium, ball over 15, 11 and 27. As the Jackets improve the 3 and 0 on this season. Hopefully everybody at Jacket Stadium will be coming over here to the Mighty Midway for night number one of the fall brawl. All right, here we go, lights are off. We're gonna go racing this time. Green flag is in the air. Darren Phillips out front, your leader. Here comes the 20 of Robbie Jones. Here comes the 11 of Derek Brown. 
Derek Brown making it three wide. It's Brown. Jones in the 35. Oh, John Coates. Whoa, too much there for the 21 of Darren Phillips. He going the round. Caution coming out. The weapon of Derek Brown, your leader at 35. John Coates. We'll have the choice between the bottom and the top. He will choose the bottom. So the 20 of Robbie Jones will be on the outside. There will be a 21P of Darren Phillips in row number three on the inside. Lights are off, gonna go back racing this time. Green flag is in the air. Derek Brown out front. John Coates in the 35 in second. Robbie Jones right there running in third. Here they come out of four. Down the front stretch they go. Derek Brown, your leader. John Coates to the 35. Right there in second. Single file all the way around the mighty Midway Speedway. As it's Brown by himself. Derek Brown out front, your leader. 35 of John Coates in second, 20 of Robbie Jones in third. <laughs> Two more laps to go. Here they come down the back stretch now into turns number three. Now four, white flag is in the air. One more lap to go for the 11 of Derek Brown. Checker flag is in the air for the 11 of Derek Brown. 35 coming on second. That's 20 of Jones coming on third. That will do it for our heat races here at the Mighty Midway Speedway for night number one of the fall brawl. That will do it for our heat races here for night number one of the fall brawl. Got some B features to take care of here. Don't forget, we'll be back right here tomorrow night for night number two. For fall brawl, big money tomorrow night. USRA B Mods, 2000 to win. Power Eye Super Stock, 750. Stock Car, 750 to win tomorrow night. Midwest Mods, 500. And Pure Stocks, 350. Don't forget, throughout the night, uh, we're taking donations for Clint and Tina's son-in-law and grandbabies. We are in a head-on crash last Saturday. And any donations would greatly appreciate it for the family. 
as they are out of work for an extended period of time. Put some moisture down before we run our B features here tonight. Final time for these drivers to get into that vinyl show tonight. Yay, Maine. I want to thank also Joker's Welding and Fab on Glitter and Steel, Stainless Steel. Casts, repairs, custom fabrication decor. Let us bring your ideas to life. Tig, MIG, and stick. Portable or bring it to me. 17 plus years of experience. Honest and fair. Joker Welding. Give them a call right there. 417-664-0535. Getting that moisture put down here before we breathe out the B features. All right, here we go. Midwest my B feature on the track right now. On the pole, on the pole, that'll be the 81. Lines of keeper on the outside, that'll be the 92. Key achievers, run number two on the inside, that'll be the 60 of Austin Treadway on the outside, but 52, John Baxter. Row number three on the inside, but the 15 H. Uh, Jeremy Hayes on his outside, be the 11 of Brian Skitshaw, row number four on the inside, that'll be the 25 of Billy Jones on the outside, be the 4X of Aiden Scott. There'll be the 46 of Ben Chapman and on the outside, be the 41. And the five, see a Brian Cook. Coming to the flag stand, the lights are going off. Green flag next time. Eight laps is your distance.
Top six will transfer in the ninth feature. Green flag is in the air. Elijah Keeper out front. John Baxter in that 52 battling there with the 92 Key Cheevers. Down the back stretch, they go down the turns three and four. Here they come out of four. Elijah Keeper out front, your leader, 92 Key Cheevers in second. John Baxter in that 52, gaining some ground there on the 92 Key Cheevers. Side by side for a second behind your leader, and Key Cheevers going around. So Keith Cheever's too much there in turns three and four. And went around there. So it'll be 81 of Elijah Keeper, your leader, 52 of John Baxter in second. So here we go, with 11 there, Bryce Gretschall wants to get in front of that. 15H. One lap in. Fifty-two. John Baxter has a choice between the bottom or the top. He will choose the inside lane. Brian Scutch will be on the outside. Double him up here. Lights are off. Coming to the line, green flag is in the air. Elijah Keeper out front, your leader, 52, John Baxter in second. Brian Scutchall not living right now, sitting in third. As caution is coming out, find C of Brian Cook. As the fine see of Brian Cook all by himself there. Gonna go single file. Single foul. Elijah Keeper, your leader, John Baxter, the 52 in second. Bryce Gutschall, the 11, sitting there in third. Jeremy Hazel, 15 H in fourth. Green flag is in the air. Caution is coming out. That's two cautions by the 92 Keith Cheevers by himself. So the 81 of the lines of keeper, your leader. The 42 of John Baxter in second, the 11 of Brian Scutshaw in third.
top six will transfer so right now it's Elijah Keeper John Baxter the 11 of Brian Scutshaw Jeremy Hazel 60 of Austin Treadway and the 41 of Paul Scott right now your top six So 9-2, Cheevers broke here in Pew Roads. Got to hook him up from the front side. So, GNS towing, got to make their way through the pit area to go to the front side there. Elijah Keeper, your leader in that 81 on a beautiful night.
Appreciate you guys being patient with us here. We got a car stuck in pit road. So here we go. Looks like they got it cleared. We're gonna go lights off. All right, here we go. Lights are going off. We go back green next time. Mind you, keep here your leader, John Baxter in the 52 in second. Brian Scutshaw in the 11. Sitting there in third. Green flag is in the air. Why should keep her around for it? Here comes the 15 H of Jeremy Hazel. Side by side for third. We got a car going around there. Caution coming out. 46. Ben Chapman all by himself. Then so Ben Chapman bring out the caution as Hazel was. Racing hardware with the 11. Brian Scudshaw. We go back to our last lap scored. Going to line, the lights are going off. Here we go. We're going to go back green this time. Green. No. They're supposed to say single foul, single foul, restart right here. Here we go, lights are going off. Here we go, keeper on the pole. Green flag is in the air. Keeper out front, down the back stretch, they go. 52 of John Baxter right there in second. 11 of Brian Scutshaw right there in third. Around the track they go down the front stretch. Keep her out front. Baxter in the 52. Oh, hold on. Baxter able to save it though. Got sideways there in the middle one and two, but able to keep it going. As the 81 keeper out front on zip code right now. Everybody else though racing hard back there for that final transfer spot. Top six make it right now as it's the 25 of Billy Jones. Four X of Aiden Scott right there racing there, but here comes the 11 of Brian Scutshaw. Right now, Billy Jones, that final transfer spot, and final car. As Keeper come out, turn number four. Oh, 15 H of Jeremy Hazel closing in on the 52, John Baxter. And caution is coming out. We're to 41. We want to Paul Scott. We're right now to caution.
41 there will need some assistance from the push truck. Lineup is good. Glenja Keeper, your leader. John Bannister, 52 in second. Jeremy Hazel, now 15 8, sitting there in third. All right, here we go. Going back green. Green flag is in the air. Lines a keeper. Leads him down the back stretch. If we got problems in turns one and two, and caution is coming out. Single foul. So right now that final transfer spot is at 25 of Billy Jones. Green White together, one lap shootout. Keep her out front. Keep out. We'll look out for that final transfer spot now. Here they come. Turns number four. Out of four. Elijah Keeper gets the win. John Baxter coming on second. Jeremy Hazel coming on third. And oh! The 4X. Aiden Scott transferring. Billy Jones transferring. And I think it was at 46 of Ben Chapman. One top six will transfer to the Knights a thousand dollar to win a main. So right now we gotta set the field here. Here we go. On the pole, that'll be the 49 of Cole Wells on his outside. That'll be the 71 of Chris Tenoy. Row number two on the inside, that'll be the 28 of Andy Bryant on his outside, that'll be the 28X of Wesley Briggs. Row number three on the inside, that'll be the six of Jay Flynn. His outside, that'll be the 42. Uh, Jerry Morgan, next row on the inside. Be 11. Logan Smith, then it'll be the 16M of Brian Myers, the AS of John Seats, the 9 of Clemens, Sam Clemens in the 9. Right now, getting that moisture rolled into the racing surface here.
Once again, getting the track rolled in here after the moisture put down during the intermission. Track roll coming in nicely here. Clint and his team done a great job here today. Top six will transfer to the A main. Fouls of the win tonight, two fouls of the win on Saturday. Getting that top worked in. Couple of passes here. Track will be good for tonight's features. Double them up here. Lights are going off. Eight laps is your distance. Top six will transfer. Here we go, tighten it up, lights are going off. We go racing this time. Cole Wells, Chris Tidoli on the front row. Row number two is the 28, Sandy Bryant, Wesley Briggs. Bryant on the inside, Briggs on the outside. Here we go, green flag is in the air. Paul Wells out front now, 49, your earlier, 28. Manny Bryant right now sitting there in second. Here they come now in their turns, three and four. Down the front stretch, they go. Paul Wells out front, your earlier, Andy Bryant in that 28 there sitting in second. Three wide back, car battle back there for that final transfer spot there. Myers and Flynn battling there for that sixth spot. Brian Myers at 16 in right now, sitting there in sixth. ADS of John seats right there now in fifth. Fifth to 49 and Cole Wells out front. Andy Bryant to 28 in second. Chris Tenoy to 71 in third. 
Down the front stretch they go. Cole Wells earlier in that 49. Annie Bryant the 28 in second. 71 and Kristen Oli sitting there in third. Side by side battle back here deep in the field. Trouble there for the 68 of Myers. Off the pace there. Able to continue on though. We're staying green. Oh, he shoots up the racetrack. And caution will come out. Caution coming out for the 16 of Brian Myers. Brian Myers bringing out the caution there. He was in that final transfer spot. Oh, he's going to stay on the track. Five laps in. Three more to go. As it's Cole Wells, his earlier 28 of Andy Bryant in second. So the 28 of Andy Bryant will have their choice between the bottom or the top. He will choose the inside lanes and only will go on the outside. And the line lines are going off. Here we go. Five laps in, three laps remain. Top six will transfer. B main number one. Cole Wells will lead him in the turn number four. Green flag is in the air. Cole Wells right now, your leader, 20 of Andy Bryant here in second. Here we go. Out of turn number four. Down the front stretch, they go. Cole Wells of 49 come out for White Flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Right now, the 11 there, right there. That transfer spot there. Down the back stretch they go. Here they come out, turn number four. Checker Flag is in the air. Cole Wells, Andy Bryant, 42. Jerry Morgan, the AS of John Seats, 71 of Chris Denoy, and the 11. Ill of Logan Smith, your top six. <laughs> All right, here we go. B feature number two. On the pole for to be feature number two, that'll be the three. Well, Justin Moon on the outside will be the 30 of Rex Harris. Row number two on the inside will be the 54 Brian Shute. On the outside of him, that'll be the 55. Colson Kirk. Row number three on the inside will be the 14. Uh, Sean Nations on his outside. Be the 114 of Todd Mock. Next row on the inside, be the 21 of Greg Scheffler on his outside, the 24 of Jerry Ellis in the 96X of Jeff Hooper. Lights are going off. Eight laps your distance, top six will transfer and finish out night number one's feature lineup. No start. All right, here we go. See, trying a second time right here. 
Front row sets the pace right here. Here we go. We got the green flag this time. Green flag is in the air. Shoot out front, your leader. And got some trouble in turn number one. 114, Todd Mock. 96 of Jeff Hooper over there also in turn number one as well. Contact made there with the 114. Single foul right now, going to get to the 30 of Rex Harris. And the shoot there in turn number three. The three, just Moon has a choice between the bottom of the top. He will choose the inside lane. Shaw Nations go on the outside. Everybody else follow along there. The lines are off. We're going to go back racing this time. Ring flag is in the air. Hey, we got problems on the front stretch. Three there, just the moon. And then going around there. So right up is good right there. All right, here we go. Lights are off. Gonna go back racing this time. Brian shoot a little minute turn number four. Green flag is in the air. 
Top six transfer. Right now, shoot is your leader. Here comes the 55 of Colson Kirk for Shaw Nation. Did but hold off the 55. Look at the 96 of Jeff Hooper there. Racing with the 24, Jerry Ellis back there. Right there, Jeff Hooper trying to get off that final transfer spot as now it's the 24, Jerry Ellis. Here comes Rich Sheffler. He's up the racetrack, losing spots as Hooper takes advantage and Ellis. Ellis on the inside there, the 21. Now the front stretch they go down the turns, one and two. Down the back stretch, Brian Shute is your leader. Ryan Shute right now setting the pace out front now 54. Hey, got a car there to 114. All right, here we go. Stackman them up here. Lights are going off. Yeah. Three fighters in the air. Brian shoot your leader down the back strips. 96 Jeff who brought the inside of 14 of Sean Nation. Here we go out of turn number four. Shoot will lead him down the front stretch. Right now, Rick Harris is in that final transfer spot. Contact made there between Nations and Tupper. Here comes Harris making a move on the inside of 24 of Ellis. Down the front stretch they go. Two more laps to go. Tupper on the inside there. Here we go. Colson Kirk go right there behind the 54 shoot. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Ryan shoot. Can he hold on? The 21 now jumps up to that final transfer spot. Here we go. Keep Brian back there. That's battle for six. Checker flag is in the air for Brian shoot. Colson Kirk, 55 second. Jeff Hooper, the 96 third. Sean Nation's fourth. Rex Harris. Fifth and the 21. Coming home six. Now Craig Scheffler. All right, Bill Westmont feature. Here we go. Night number one.
All right, so here we go on the pole. The 83, Ben Newell. The 84, Dayton Newell. The 33, is Steve Muhlenberg. Then the 39, Chris Chavers. 64, Pete Richardson. 32, Joe Francis. 17, Derek Cook. 27, John Day. He got the 17. T. Baldridge. Ooh. Ben Newell on the pole, 33 is Steve Muhlenberg on the outside. Dave Newell on the inside in 84. On the outside of him would be a 64, Pete Richardson. 39, Chris Cheevers on the inside and a 7C of Derek Cook on the outside. Midwest Bonds, 300 to win. Lights are off. Feature tab here, night number one, Paul Brawl. Green flag is in the air. Ben Newell, Steve Muhlenberg, side by side for the lead down the back stretch, they go. And got the one of keeper. Caution coming out. Ben Newell, the 83, on the inside. No lap completed. As 81 and Keeper run out the caution there in turn number one. Coming to line, lights going off, green flag next time. No lap completed. 300 to win. Top four in tonight's feature. Get locked in for tomorrow night's feature. Pole dash set for tomorrow night. Here we go. Green flag is in the air. Ben Newell out front, your leader. Steve Muhlenberg now 33. Here comes the 39 of Chris Cheevers. He races there on the inside of 84 of Dayton Newell. Here they go out of turn number four down the front stretch. They go. Ben Newell still out front. Steve Muhlenberg in that 33 in second. Dayton Newell in the 84 in third. 
Down the front stretch, they go, staying green right here. Good job by the drivers to keep it green. That's Ben Newell. Holding on to two, Carling Fleet on the 33 of Steve Muhlenberg. 84 of Dayton Newell sitting there in third. And Caution coming out. Yo 5 Cheyenne Bowman, we got two cars. 27 of John Damon, the 28 of Wesley Briggs, also in turns three and four. Eighty-three. Ben Noll still your leader. Steve Mullen bringing out thirty-three in second. Eighty-four of Date Newell in third. So we're top four to tonight's feature. Get locked into tomorrow night's feature. Everybody else run a full race program just like tonight, tomorrow night. As tomorrow night for the Midwest Mods, it is 500 to win tomorrow night. 300 to win tonight. 500 to win tomorrow night. Lights are going off. Going to go green this time. Green flag is in the air. Ben Hull out front. Steve Mullen bringing out 33. In second. Here they come now in their turns. Number three and four down the front stretch. They go. Steve Muhlenberg right now trying to close the gap there on the 83 of Ben Newell. And the 15H going around. So 15H of Hazel going around by himself, everybody else to avoid. Keep it single.
Ben Noel right now still your leader. Three laps in. 33 is Steve Muhlenberg, second. Dayton Newell, third. Dayton Newell coming from the Piedmont class down to the Midwest Mott. And the motor going out in that modified, making it a Midwest Mod for the remaining of the season so he can come race with his father who is leading the feature right now. 64, Pete Richardson right now, currently your Midwest Mod track point leader here at the Mighty Midway Speedway. Here we go. Lights are going off. Single foul. Ben Noel, lead him out of four. Green flag is in the air. Ben Noel out front. Steve Muhlenberg in the 33 and second. Here comes the 39. Chris Cheevers on the inside of the 64. Richardson. Joe Francis watching on a great race right there. But look at that race there for a second between Muhlenberg and Dayton Noel. And oh, caught a little bit of contact made there. And trouble for the 84, Dayton Newell. And he's off the pace there in turn number two. Caution coming out for the 84. A flat right front there on the 84 of Dayton Newell. So Dayton Newell coming in for a flat. Ben Newell in that 83, still your leader. Emil and Berg in the 33 and second. Chris Cheever is now 39. Jumping up there in that third spot. 32, Joe Francis and 64, Pete Richardson. Them two battling in the point standings here at the Mighty Midway Speedway. So Dayton Newell making his way back to the through the pit area there. off here as the 84 Newell come back on the track here so then coming to the line lights will be going off this time B 
Ben Dole in the 83. Can he hold on? Get night number one. Three hundred to win for the night feature and a spot into tomorrow night's feature. Green flag is in the air. Ben Ole is the manager number two. Down the oh, 52, Baxter going around. And caution is coming out. Two cautions for the 52 of John Baxter. Bumper to bumper here, nose to tail, single file. Green flag is back in the air. And all down the back stretch here we go. Here comes the 32 and Joe Francis. Joe Francis now battling there with the 39 and Chris Cheevers. Side by side battling, waiting for that third spot. Now Joe Francis pulls in front of the 39 and Chris Cheevers. Whoa, close call up there on the front stretch. Trying to get a good run right here, staying green as Ben Newell is your leader. Steve Muhlenberg now 33 in second. Richardson and Francis bet on their side by side for that third spot. Richardson and Francis still side by side. Richardson on the inside, Francis on the outside. And the 70 of Derek Cook going around there. The 28 of Briggs. It's fun to avoid. So Ben Newell in the 83, still your leader. Steve Muhlenberg in the 33 and second. Lineup is good. Here we go in turn number four. Green flag is in the air. Ben Newell trying to hold on to that lead. A 33 of Muhlenberg in second. Trying to close that gap. 64 P. Richardson in that third spot. Down the back stretch, down the turns, three and four. Nate Newell trying to work his way through traffic here. Through my, trying to make his way back up towards the front. Right now, his dad, the 83 of Ben Duell, is out front leading the way. 33 of Steve Muhlenberg in second, the 64 of Pete Richardson in third, and caution coming out. That's two for the 05 of Cheyenne Bauman. And 
Cheyenne, she comes week in, week out here. Rookie season in that Midwest modified and All right, here we go. Coming to the line, lines are going off. Green flag next time. Ben Newell, still your leader in that 83. Steve Muhlenberg in the 33 and second. Green flag is in the air. Steve Muhlenberg trying to close it in on the 83 of Ben Newell. Down the back stretch they go. Now turn number four. Steve Muhlenberg was closing in on Ben Newell. Running out of time. And caution coming out. Forty six, Ben Chapman bringing out the caution. Here we go, bumper to bumper. Oh, lineup is good, lights are going off. Then the old item in turn number three, now four. Green flag is in the air. Ben Newell, that 83 leads him down the back stretch, down the turns number three and four. Steve Muhlenberg in the 33 and second. Keith Richardson in that 64 in third. 32 and Joe Francis in that four spot. Ben Newell in the 83. Still your leader. Here they come out of four down the front stretch. Two more laps to go. Who's it going to be? Ben Newell trying to expand the lead on the 33 of Steve Muhlenberg. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go for the 83 of Ben Newell. Now the Bastards, they go for the final time. Now in the turns, number three. Now four out of four. Checker flag is in the air for the 83 of Ben Newell. 33 is Steve Muhlberg. Second, the 64, Pete Richardson. Go on third. So it's the 
83 of Ben Newell, the 33 is Steve Muhlenberg. 64, Pete Richardson, and the 32, Joe Francis, who get locked in for tomorrow night's feature as Ben Knowles parks it here on the front stretch here. Night number one, Midwest Bond feature winner. Three hundred. There he is, race fans, your Midwest Mom feature winner, the 83, Ben Noel. Takes night number one, 300 to win. As he is locked in for tomorrow night's feature, which is 500 to win. So he is going for the sweep tomorrow night. So fans, you want to come back tomorrow night? See if the 83 of Ben Null will be able to carry on the sweep. All right, it's pure stock time here. On the pole for the pure stocks. The 88 are Bradley McDowell on the outside. That'll be the 32 of Richard Adams. Row number two on the inside. That'll be the four of Caleb Brones on the outside. With a nine of Brian Piercy. Row number three on the inside. That'll be a 12 of Craig Dykstra. On the outside. With a seven of Carl Lampy. Row number four on the inside, that'll be the five. Of Justin McDowell on his outside, be a 26 of Preston McDowell. Next row on the inside, that'll be the 42A. Alex Thomas on the outside of him, that'll be the 53, Richard Burks. Next row on the inside, that'll be a seven. K of Tyler Knutson on the outside, that'll be the 47A of Jim Alex Status. Next row on the inside, that'll be the five R, Rocky Teskia. The outside, that'll be the four W. Gabe Woodbridge, Bridge, gonna be a 17. Uh, Austin Wilson on the outside, be a 617 at Tom Biffle. The 24. Fifteen laps is your distance. Four hundred to win for the Pure Stocks. Top four will transfer into the feature tomorrow night. Here we go. Green flag is in the air. Bradley McDowell out front, your leader, 32 of Richard Adams in that second spot. Look at that, almost three wide battle there for third. Caleb Rhodes, Brian Piercy battle on their side by side. They come out to number four. Down the front stretch they go. Keeping it green. The 88R, Bradley McDowell is your leader. Richard Adams in the 32 in second. Caleb Rhodes in the four, sitting there in third. Here we go in the turns, number three and four. Caleb Rhodes going around. And caution. And got some cars there in the middle of turns three and four. Everybody else tried to avoid. The four of Rhodes went sideways there. In the middle of turn number four.
For the four, K.O. Browns over there in the shooting chart number three. One lap in and goes that 88 R Bradley McDowell. So, some debris in turn number four. Get that picked up. Here comes the 42 back out. So 32, Richard Adams will have the choice between the bottom or the top. He will choose the inside lane. Brian Piercy will go on the outside in the nine. All right, here we go. Lights are going off. Green flag. Next time. Green flag is back in the air. Bradley McDowell leads him. Here comes the 32 of Adams, and we got trouble. As caution on the track, in turns one and two. So the 40, the 24. And the five, Ron Gatiski going in the pit area.
lights are going off. Here we go. Here we come after number four. Green Pine is back in the air. ER Rally McDowell. Bosch is coming out. Here we're going single. Refine is in the air. Bradley McDowell leads him in turns number three. M4. Down the front stretch, they go. Twenty four going around there in turn number two. All right, lights are off. Go back racing this time. Bradley McDowell. We have it here. Here they come out. Turn number four. Green flag is in the air. Bradley McDowell down the back stretch now. Richard Adams in now 32. Side by side, look out, here comes that 53 of Richard Burks there. He's bound there with the seven of Tyler Knutson back there in the middle of the pack. Down there for that sixth spot. As Bradley McDowell is your leader. Richard Adams in the 32 in second, the nine of Brian Piercy in third. Down the back stretch, they go. Rally McDowell with the big lead. Here comes the 9 0 Brian Piercy. 
Ryan Piercy in the nine. Now in that second spot. Once again, top four transfer into get locked into the Mall Knights feature. Right now, that is McDowell, Piercy, Adams, and Dykstra. Yeah, about all the sevens there between Carl Lampy, the seven of K of Tower Knutson. And Bradley McDowell, still your leaders. Thirty-two, Richard Adams there closing in on the nine of Brian Piercy. Down the front stretch they go. Your leader goes. But Piercy, that nine car, 32 of Adams. Look at that battle back there. For that fifth spot. Craig Dykstra at 12 trying to stay in that fourth spot there, the final lock-in spot for tomorrow night's feature. Oh, here comes the seven of Carl Ampey right there behind the 12 of Craig Dykstra. Three cars battling there for that final walk-in spot. As the 7K of Kutar Knutson now, and caution comes out. Five, uh, Justin McDowell going around there in turn number four. Right now, it's still Browley McDowell, your leader. Brian Pearson, that nine, sitting there in second. Richard Adams in the 32 and third. Craig Dykstra in that final walk-in spot. The seven of Tower Knutson will get there in front of the seven of Carl Ampey. We'll keep them single here. Lines are going off. Here we go in turn number three. Wait a minute, four. Green flag is in the air. Bradley McDowell trying to hold on to that lead. Brian Pearson at nine. We got trouble. Craig Dykstra. Going around there in turn number four. And Craig had a good run there in that 12 car, sitting there in that final walk-in spot. So the 12 of Craig Dykstra will take it to the rear. All right, here we go to the line. The lines are going off. And Brownlee McDowell, hold on. Brian Piercy in that nine, sitting there. We're in a good spot there in second. Richard Adams in the 32 and third. And now the 7K of Tower Knutson in that walk-in spot. 
Ring flag is back in the air. Bradley McDowell leads him in the turns one and two. Here we go. Piercy closing in on the leader. As we look back there for Richard Adams and Tyler Knudsen battling there. Here comes the four, Caleb Rhodes, and we're staying green. And caution coming out there for the 32, Richard Adams. Got a left rear flat on the 32. From Bradley McDowell, can he hold on? As Brian Piercy has been coming on strong here at the end. The Knights feature winner, 250 to win. 350 to win tomorrow night. All right, here we go. Ring flag is in the air. Here they come out, turn number four. White flag is in the air. One more lap to go. Ryan Piercy, does he have anything for the 88 R? Bradley McDowell. Down the back stretch they go now for the final time. Now in the turns, number three and four. Who is it going to be out of turn number four? Bradley McDowell getting the win. Ryan Piercy coming on second. Caleb Rhodes in the four coming on third. And Tyler Knudsen coming home fourth. Four lock-in spots for tomorrow night's feature.
is Bradley McDowell. Parks it on the front stretch. Night number one, feature winner for the Pure Stocks. Out of the car, Ooh, let them hear you, race fans. The AR, Bradley McDowell, your Pure Stock feature winner. Congratulations once again to the AR Bradley McDowell, the Pure Stock feature winner. All right, here we go. Power Eye Super Stocks are on the track right now. On the pole will be a 35 of John Colts. On his outside will be a 27D of Derek Hinton. Row number two on the inside will be a 1C of Tyler Carver. On his outside will be a 26M Donnie Miller. Row number three on the inside will be a 1D of Daniel Deason. His outside will be a 21W Ted Walshmeyer. Row number four on the inside will be a seven of Josh Woods. On his outside will be a 45 of Aaron Poe. Next row on the inside will be a 56 of Mark Davis. On his outside will be a 11 of Jimmy Foam. Next row on the inside will be a 53 of Daniel O'Neill. On his outside will be a 32 Joe Francis. He'll be a 24. It'll be the G1 and Nick Gibson. It'll be a 67 of Devin Ivory in the 29K. Chris Kirch in the 7C. The 21. It'll Jerry Lampke. And one D S uh, Steve. Steve Dickman in the 05 of Dale Barry. Power Eye Super Stocks, here we go. 400 to win tonight. Here we go. Lights are going off. 20 strong tonight. Good field in the Power Eye Super Stocks. Night number one. Top four also walk in.
All right, here we go. Lights are off. Here we go to turn number four. Green flag is in the air. Thirty-five of John Coates out front, your leader. One of Tyler Carver in second, forty-five of Aaron Poe. Right there in third, here comes the twenty-seven though Derek Henson on the inside there. And the one of Tyler Carver. Here they come in turns three and four out of four. Now the front stretch they go. Ooh, look at that battle for the lead there between the 35 of Coates. Ooh, we got trouble in the middle of one and two and caution coming out. <laughs> 53 of Danny O'Neill by himself. 29 to avoid there. Two laps in for the Power Eye Super Stock feature. Caution still out. So one of Tower Carver choosing that inside lane. Derek Hinton on the outside there in the 27. Here we go, lights are going off. This time by. John Coates is your leader. Two lamps in. John Coates leads him in chair number four. Green flag is in the air. Coates comes out of four. Down the front stretch they go. Tower carving out one, your leader. Here they go now, Daniel Jason out one D. Right there, battling there with the 26 of Miller. Down the back stretch they go. Here comes the one seat of Tower Carver, now your new race leader. Now front there, down the front stretch, now the turns over one and two. Tower Carver going to turn number four, trying to hold off. Here it gets in there now, 27. 35 with Johnny Coates in that third spot. Here comes Tower Carver. Leads him down the front stretch. The top five right now, single foul. The 32 is Joe Francis having a good run there. Sitting there in that fifth spot. Down the back stretch they go. Tower Carver leads him down the front stretch. Put some space in between him and that 27. Derek Henson. Joe Francis battling back here with the 26 of Donnie Miller. Right now it's all Tyler Carver out front. Right 
Right now, good run here. We've got trouble there in turn number two. Cost are coming out there. Uh, the one Sia Tower, Carver is your leader, 27th. Derek Hitson in second. Johnny Cooks in the 35. Sitting there in that third spot. Eight laps in. The 27D of here Kitson has the choice to win the bottom or the top. He will choose that inside lane. Coach go on the outside. Everybody else will double file behind them. Tower Carver in row number one by himself. After the line, the lights are going off. We're halfway through. Here we go. Tower Carver will lead them in the down the back stretch here. Derek Henson, John Coates, row number two, Joe Francis, Donnie Miller, row number three. Green flag is in the air. Tower Carver leads them down the back stretch. And we got problems there. The one in the 11. Nick Gibson in the 11 phone. Lines are going off. Here we go. Carver will lead him here in chair number four. We're ready to go back racing. Green flag is back in the air. Tower Carver down the back stretch will lead a very wide battle back there for fourth. Aaron Poe, Joe Francis, and John Cook. Francis sideways there in caution. 32, Joe Francis. Cost you coming out. Power I Super Stock, A main here tonight for night number one of the Fall Brawl. 400 to win. 100 to start.
And 11, uh, Jimmy Fong going to push off the track there. Twenty four there of a flat tire there, taking its way back to the pit area. Let's give a thank our great sponsors here at the Monty Midway Speedway for the Fall Brawl. A little bow time for the four winner shootout, show me their dot TV. State Representative Jeff Knight, Lake Area Wickedators, and Jokers Welding. All right, coming to the flag stand, getting the green flag, lights are going off. Green flag next time. four green flag is in the air Tyler Carver out front your leader down the back strips down the turns three and four we got trouble and one and two caution coming out after one SD is Steve Dickman, the 32, Joe Francis, and the 53 of Danny O'Neill. The Tower Carver still your leader in that 1C. All right, lights are going off. We'll go back racing this time. Green flying is back in the air. Tower Carver out front, your leader in that 1C. 27 there, Derek Hitch in that second spot. Aaron Poe battling back there with the 26 of Donnie Miller. Three line battle back there for third. Now it's the 35 and John Coates now it's in that third spot. Here they come out of turn number four. Now the front stretch they go. Tyler Carver down the back stretch now. Here it gets to the 27 and second. John Coates in the 35. 
In front of a good battle there for four between Aaron Poe and the 26 of Miller. One C, a Carver. Still has that two to three car wing fleet. Next time by two more laps to go. Tower Carver will go in the turn number four out of four. White flag is in here. One more lap to go. Yeah, seven going around there. And caution coming out. Going to the checker. One C of Tower Carver, your winner. 27. Derek Hitson, second. 35, going home third. And a 26 of Donnie Miller getting that fourth lock in spot. Tower Carver right down there, your Power Eye Superstock feature winner. We get ready for a Pals of the Win USRA B Mod A main. All right, here we go. USRE Bond main event, night number one, a thousand to win. 20 laps is your distance. On the pole, that'll be the X2 of Brian Bowen. On his outside, be a Tim P of Dayton Persley. Row number two on the inside, up be the 18 of J.C. Morton. On his outside, be the F1 of Mitchell Franklin. Row number three on the inside, be a 65 of Chris Jackson. On his outside, be a 67 of Austin Seats. Row number four on the inside, that'll be the 57J of Donnie Fellers on the outside, be a 22C of Cole Campbell. There'll be a 28 of Andy Bryant on the outside of him, the 54 of Brian Shoot. Next row on the inside, be the 42 of Jerry Morgan on the outside, be the 55 of Colson Kirk. There'll be the 8S of John Sheets and the 86 of Jeff Hooper. 71 of Chris Tenoy, the 14 of Sean Nations. The 30 of Rex Harris, 21 of Craig Schulfer, and the 11 L of Logan Smith.
Pick up some speed here, warm them tires up here. As caution coming back out here. Give them a chance here to warm up the tires. All right, the field is set here. A thousand dollars to win tonight for night number one. Two thousand to win tomorrow. After line, lights are going off. Twenty laps will be your distance. Here we go. Brian Bowen, Dave Persley on the front row. Morton and Franklin, row number two. Jackson and Seats, row number three. Fellers and Campbell, row number four. And Wells and Shoot, row number five. 20 laps is your distance. $1,000 to win. Night number one of the fall brawl, Beamont. Refine us in the air. With Dayton Persley out front, your leader. Here comes the 18 of J.C. Morton. He's racing right there. Here they come in the turns, three and four. Dayton Persley out front. Morton in the 18 in second. Here comes Jackson at 65. Brian Bowen down the inside at 65 of Jackson. Down the back stretch they go. Persley trying to hold on to the lead. J.C. Morton right there working hard there on the 810P of Persley. Firstly, opening that inside lane for the 18 of Morton. Now the back stretch they go. As JC Morton now, your new race leader, TMP and Dane Persley in second. Mitchell Franklin the F1 in third. Ryan Bowen in that X2 right there, running there on the inside of Franklin. Chris Jackson's right there in the top five. As right now, it is the 18 of J.C. Morton. Morton out front there in that 18. Franklin, him going, running there side by side for third. Here they come out turn number four. Great battle there behind your leader, Tim P. personally trying to hold off Bowen and Franklin. J.C. Morton right now, he is extending his lead out front. Oh, Bowen now working on the inside, that's him, Pia Persley. Here they go in the turn three and four. Ryan Bowen right now in the next two, right now sitting in second. Mitchell Franklin, the F1, sitting in third. Right now, it's all J.C. Morton out front. Brian Bull in the X2 in the second spot. Mitchell Franklin in third. Jackson in fourth. Morton in a zip code all by himself. Jackson out the inside the F1 of Franklin. Right now, here we go halfway through. 10 laps in, 10 more laps to go. Caution coming out.
So J.C. Morton, your leader in the 18. X2 O'Brien Bowen in second. 65 of Chris Jackson. Right there sitting out third spot. 10 laps in, 10 more laps to go. The X2, Brian Bowen choosing that inside lane. Jackson on the outside. Franklin on the inside of row number three. On his outside will be the Tim P. of Pursley. Ten laps in, ten more laps to go. It's been Morton. The whole race to see if anybody else has anything for him. Green flag is back in the air. Oh, here comes Jackson. Jackson in that 65. Trying to make something work on that outside lane. Here they go now in the turns three and four. Chris Jackson. Here he comes. Going to defend the home turf. J.C. Morton. Trying to hold off Jackson down the back stretch they go now. Here they go down to turn three and four. Staying green here, 11 laps in. And it's Bowen and Jackson still battling there. Now Jackson pulling away. Here we go, Jackson's on the outside of Morton on the front stretch side by side. Chris Jackson is defending the home track. Down the back stretch they go. Here they go now in the turns, three and four. Them two battle everywhere they go. Morton and Jackson, as Jackson now comes down the front stretch, he takes the lead. Jackson did the pass on the outside. Jackson now your race leader. Here they come out, turn number four. J.C. Morton in the 18 in second. X2, Brian Bowen in for, here comes Mitchell Franklin there on the inside of Bowen. Down the front stretch they go, it's all Chris Jackson. Jackson out front. Put some space in between him and the 18 of Morton. Down the front stretch, then go. J.C. Morton, the 18. Next time by four to 65 of Chris Jackson. Now the back stretch, the 65 of Jackson will go into turns number three. Out of four. Jay White flag is in the air, one more lap to go. Jackson will go into turns number three and four for the final time. Out of turn number four, checker flag is in the air. Four to 65, Chris Jackson. J.C. Morton coming on second. The X2, Ryan Bowen coming on third. What a race right there. Some of the best in the B-Mod world is here tonight. It didn't take that inside lane, it took that outside lane. Jackson parking it in victory lane for night number one of the fall brawl. He got one night down, one more night to go tomorrow night. As Chris Jackson did the pass on the outside, caught the days of thunder on the 18th of J.C. Morton. 
as he parks it down there in victory lane for night number one of the fall brawl. Race fans, let them hear you. Night number one of the fall brawl, fouls in the win. Chris Jackson, your feature winner. Get it in style with the pass on the outside on the 18 of J.C. Morton and didn't look back. Also want to thank ShowMeDirt.tv to sponsor the Hard Charger Award. And uh, 100 to win. $100 will go extra. We'll go to the Hard Charger. We get ready for our final feature of the night. USRA Stock Cars in night number one of the Fall Brawl. 400 to win for them tonight. And here comes the 11, Derek Brown. First car out there on the pole on the outside here will be the 28, Brian White. Then we have 54, David Hendricks. The 35, John Coates. The 75, a feeling keeper. 20, Rami Jones. 21, Peyton McDowell. All right, here we go. 15 laps is your distance. Seven fifty to win tomorrow night, four hundred to win tonight. Here we go into turn number three and four to kick it off here for the Ozarks. USRA Scout Cars, green flag is in the air. Here they go down the back stretch now. Derek Brown, your leader, Brian White, the 28, right there, sitting in second. He saw what Jackson did on the outside lane, see if he can make it work on that outside. Derek Brown still your leader out front. One lap in. Here comes the 54. David Hendricks there on the inside of the 35 of John Coates. Right now it is Brown, White, and Coates, your top three. Derek Brown down the back stretch now. Brian White, the 28 in second. 35 of John Coates in third. Right now, Derek Brown. Lead him in here in turns number four down the front stretch. Derek Brown trying to keep that space in between him and now 28 of Brian White. But Brian White stayed right there with Brown. Great racing back there in the middle of the pack, though, between the 21. In the 20, Jones and McDowell. For 21, Peter, Darren Phillips. Now it's Hendricks and Coates battling back here for that third spot. As Derek Brown in 11. 
He'll hold off the 28 of Brian White. It's all still Derek Brown, but right now the race is for third between Hendricks and Coates. Derek Brown. And Brian White. Single file all the way around the mighty midway speedway for the USRA stock cars. Derek Brown with a comfortable lead in front of the 28 of Ryan White. Here they come out, turn number four. Two more laps to go. Derek Brown goes to the turn number four out of four. White flag is in the air one more time around. Derek Brown going down the back stretch for the final time. In the turns of her three and four. Sheriff Flag is in the air for the fifth, the 11 of Derek Brown, 28 of Brian White, second, 54 of David Hendricks, third, and the 35 of John Coates going on fourth. Derek Brown will park it here in Victory Lane for USRA Stock Cars, night number one. Appreciate all you fans for coming out for night number one of the Fall Brawl. Don't forget, we'll be back here tomorrow night for night number two. More money on the line for tomorrow. As Derek Brown taking off that safety equipment there to celebrate his future win on night number one. Race fans, let them hear you. USRA Stock Car feature winner, the 11 of Derek Brown. Appreciate you fans for coming out here for night number one for the fall brawl. Don't forget, tomorrow night, night number two, $17 gets you into the track here for adults. Pit gates will open at four. Grandstands at five. Appreciate you guys for being here for night number one. And those that are watching online, hopefully tomorrow you'll be able to make the haul to Midway Speedway here in Lebanon, Missouri for night number two of the Monty Midway Speedway Fall Brawl. Appreciate you guys being here. Hope you drive home safe. We have have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow night right here at the Monty Midway Speedway for the Fall Brawl.